Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training and in this video we're in Excel and I want to show you how to return the sheet name in a cell. So if the sheet name changes for whatever reason, the cell will automatically update. Now at the heart of this solution is the cell function and you can retrieve lots, about, lots of information regarding the cell. Uh, we're interested in the file name. So if I just double click on file name there, that's the first argument, info type. Second argument is reference. Now, if I don't use that, it will just assume the current cell. So that's absolutely fine. Uh, but to be honest, any, any cell on the sheet will do, but the current cell is fine. And what you can see is it's returning the full path of this particular file. It won't return that if you haven't saved the file. So you must save it first before you try and do this. Now that's fine, but we only want the actual sheet name rather than this path. So I need to retrieve the section of this text string after that closing square bracket. So how do we do that? Well, I'm gonna kind of take it apart step by step. One function will be really useful in this context is mid. Mid will allow you to extract a portion of the text string. So I would say, here's my text that I want to extract data from, comma. Now, I need a start number. So this is quite a long text string, but I happen to know that the start number is actually 80. I worked that out before I started the video. And the number of characters I want to return is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, it may be a different uh, length of a different number of characters, depending on your sheet name, but we'll, we'll work on that as we go through the video. But if I press enter, you can see it's returned the name of the sheet, which is great. And if I change this, let's change some letters here, you can see it automatically updates. Now, we do need to do a little bit of work on this because this file path may be more than 80 characters and the name of our sheet may be more than seven characters. Well, actually, that one's not too difficult because we could just put 31 in for that because you can't have more than 31 characters in a sheet name in Excel. So that deals with that. But this is a problem because we don't know how many characters are going to be in this file path. But if we can find the position of our closed square bracket, we will know how many characters are in the file path. Now to do that, we can use the find function. And what we're gonna do is we want to find the closed square bracket. Notice how I put that in quotation marks. Second argument is with in what text you, do you want to find your find text value? Well, that'll be this. Start number we're not interested in. You only use that if you don't want to start searching from the beginning of your text string, we do. And that gives me 79. So in other words, the first character I want to return is plus one, which is the 80, which is what I've written in there. But obviously if this file path were to change in length or we had a different file path, this would automatically calculate this value for us. So what we need to do at the moment, we've got three formulas. We only want one formula to do this. So we need to wrap it all up in here. I'm going to say, use the mid function here. The text value is what the cell function is returning. The start number we'll use the find function for. Find text. So I'm looking for that closed square bracket within text. Well, will be whatever is returned by the cell function. And I don't have to worry about the last argument, but I need to do plus one, comma, and then the number of characters we've already discussed is never gonna be more than 31. So I can happily put 31 in there. And I press enter and I get my sheet name. And as I said before, if I change this, it automatically updates. So what we could do, for example, if this was accounts for this particular company, we could concatenate the word accounts. So if I put ampersand at the end, uh, I could put accounts there. I need to put a space as well, maybe 2020. 
press enter and there we are abc limited accounts 2020 and i could copy this formula over to other sheets i copy that over to here there we are it picks it up nicely for that particular sheet name as well okay that's all i wanted to cover in this video hopefully you found it useful if you have please subscribe and i'll see you next video